What is up you guys and welcome back to another Design Tuesday with your girl. My name is Sandra, I am an interior designer and I make videos based on interior design, fitness and lifestyle. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing my Dell XPS laptop. I have done my extensive research on what laptop is best for me as an interior designer and a content creator because I use a lot and a lot of programs. I have SketchUp, InDesign, um, Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere Pro, Surfing the Web, all at the same time. So finding a laptop that was capable of me opening up all those programs and you know, running smoothly was a big deal for me. So far, I've had this laptop for about six months, so I have not come across any issues, thankfully. But I'm going to tell you guys the three key traits that I looked for in a laptop, and this one checked off all the boxes for me. So let's get started. Starting with the first key trait is the physical appearance. I had to be attracted to this laptop and make sure that I liked all the exterior features. It has a 15.6 inch screen display which is perfect because I did not want a laptop that was too big or too small so this one was just right. I have also been used to having a laptop that was like 15 inch screen so I was just comfortable with that size and I just couldn't you know bear to go any smaller. Another thing I really love about it is it's pretty thin and lightweight so it makes it you know very easy to carry around and portable and fits perfect in my backpack. I just love how it doesn't feel like you have 15 pounds in your backpack. It's just you know super easy to carry lightweight. On the right hand side it has an SD card slot which is super important for me as a content creator and it has a USB. And on the left there's a charger plug, another USB, HDMI, headphone jack and a thunderbolt. Thunderbolt slot. And this is the back. It's pretty basic. It has the speakers, um, the battery, and the fan. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty sleek and I like it. Moving on to the second key trait is the size of the RAM. And this laptop that I bought is 32 gigs. Now, I'm not like a computer expert guru, but I know that 32 gigs of RAM was the best one for any size project out there. Based on my research, what I found is the higher the RAM, the more it's going to support all those big files and run smoothly when you have all those programs open at once. Alright, so I screen recorded my screen to show you proof. Right here, I was photoshopping a rendering and then it went to InDesign to update the presentation and the links. And I'm doing this all while I'm rendering. So if you look down at the bar, you can see all the programs I currently have open, which is a lot. So I'm able to multitask without an issue or a lag. I will say that if you're a student, you know, 16 gigs should be good enough for you. Like, you, there's no reason for you to go up to 32 gigs. I wouldn't recommend going to 8 gigs just because, you know, the programs that you use like Revit, SketchUp, um, AutoCAD. I'm not too sure if it's going to be powerful enough to handle all that, so 16 gigs is it. Next up is the CPU. So if you're going to be rendering, I would check those numbers. This laptop has an i7-9750H CPU, which is known to be great for rendering. And I can back that up because when I'm rendering in SketchUp, it doesn't take forever. Alright, so another example, I have this decent size SketchUp model. You know it's a big size when the furniture and the materials kind of turn to wireframe as you orbit around. Alright, so I have a couple scenes set up and I'm going to render one of you. Take note that I have Premiere Pro open at the same time I am rendering and this scene took me 23 minutes to finish while I have Premiere Pro open and 13 minutes when I didn't have it open. So it really depends on the model size, the rendering settings, and the programs you currently have open. So those are just like the main key traits that I was looking for in a laptop. Physical appearance, you know, the exterior features, the RAM, and the CPU. And this one checked off all the boxes for me. So now we're going to move on to the pros and cons. And we're going to start with the pros. I just, again, I love how lightweight it is. It's so easy to carry. It's super fast and it works with all the programs that I have. Another thing is that it's durable. So if you drop your laptop, it should be good because I have dropped my laptop I think like once or twice and I got a mini heart attack but I mean it kept up to its shape there was like no dents it didn't break or anything it didn't um, malfunction so a plus for the durability man now we're gonna move on to the cons and the first one that I'm going to talk about is the battery life but I feel like it's kind of average 
if I'm, you know, doing some heavy work and using all these programs, the battery lasts up to three-ish hours. But when I'm just like surfing the web or like watching Netflix or just doing like light stuff, it lasts like five hours-ish. Um, so, I mean, the battery life could be better, but it's okay. The next con is the audio. So when I'm like editing my videos or I'm watching YouTube or Netflix, the audio just ca just sounds um, echoey. I'm not really too sure how to describe it. So you guys heard how it sounds on Premiere Pro when I'm editing. Now I'm going to show you how it sounds when I'm watching Netflix. And this is just an episode from Moesha. <laughs> not in this millennium. <laughs> Down on that, D. Oh. <laughs> So it doesn't sound bad, it's just, you know, not the greatest, but you know, it's not a make or break for me. I can deal with the audio. So a factor I want to say is because the speakers are on the bottom of the laptop, so maybe that's why it doesn't sound as good. If it was on the top, I think it would have been sounded better, but you know, it's whatever. The third con is the limited of USB ports. It has two and, you know, I use one for my mouse and the other one or if I have like a USB or a hard drive that I need to plug in. If I have two USBs that I want to plug in, I have to take out my mouse, mouse USB. So, I mean, that's kind of a con. I wish I had a little more USB ports, maybe like three or four, but I mean, it's, it's doable. I just didn't like about that. But that is my overall review for the Dell XPS laptop. I give my approval to it as an interior designer and content creator. When I was trying to look for one, they would say like, oh, the Apple and the Mac is the best for editing, but not so great for interior design programs. And, you know, PC is great for the interior design programs, but may not be great for editing. So I was just so confused and just like so, so nervous I was going to pick the wrong laptop. But... I am glad I did my research and went with the Dell because it works awesome and it's great. And I just want to let you guys know that I'm a PC girl at heart. I have never owned a Apple or Mac laptop computer, um, so I don't really have any experience talking about that and kind of comparing it, but I have used a Mac computer um, last year at the library uh, I did not have the greatest experience because I had a hard drive and I guess it was not compatible with the Mac and it ended up deleting my files and I was just like oh my gosh if any of you guys have an Apple laptop or computer and you are into designer and you have all the interior design programs comment down below and let us know how it is like do you guys have any issues do you love it um does autocad and revit work well for you i also want to let you guys know that i do not have revit or autocad installed in this computer i just have sketchup i know that this laptop is kind of on the pricey side not kind of it is yeah, it's kind of on the pricey side, but it's worth the investment. Let me tell you guys, if you want to buy this laptop, I'll have the link in the description box below so you guys can go check it out. But um, like I said, if you want to go and save a little bit money, get a 16 gig. You should be fine if you're a student. Um, there's some other laptops that I found that are worth um, investing in and buying so I'll have those linked down below as well so you guys can go check it out thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up so it reaches other interior designers um, because I know I was super confused on what kind of laptop to get and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you already haven't and I will catch you guys in the next design Tuesday bye it's not for me to say